and welcome back. Time now for our Sports Plus Spotlight Story. In the 1940s, there was a legendary athlete from Centralia named Dyke Edelman. He won a silver medal in the London Olympics, played in the Rose Bowl, and a Final Four for Illinois. He was asked what his greatest thrill was. He said winning the state basketball championship at Centralia High School in 1942. That's how big basketball is just an hour away from us. With the help of photographer and editor John Kelly, we give you their story. No matter where you really go in Centralia, you can't get away from it. It means everything to this town, because this town was built around the sport of basketball. And this sleepy town of just over 14,000 does it better than any high school in America, the winningest team of the 20th century. The 500th win came in 1935, then 1,000, then 1,500, then 2,000. Outborn steals it. Nice pass. Oh, Cunningham way up there. It doesn't get much prettier. In this now the total is 2,113. And fans like Butch Border don't want anybody to ever forget the greatness of Centralia. So he already has it on his tombstone. I wanted everybody to remember that Centralia Orphan Basketball was the winningest program in America of the 20th century. And I thought this was the best way to keep it in everybody's mind, to have a, a monument like this where everybody could come out and look at it. The dynasty happened in this gym at the old school. It has the feel of the movie Hoosiers. <laughs> On the outside of the gym is a beautiful piece of art with what else but basketball in the middle. Trout Gymnasium was built as a WPA project back in 36, 37. And the stained glass was just part of that because on those building projects, they wanted also something of art. And what the stained glass signifies is, in Latin, written on the stained glass, is a sound mind and a sound body prepared in all things. That was the philosophy of the late Arthur Trout, arguably the town's most popular person and the legendary basketball coach with 809 wins and three state titles over 36 years. At the corner cafe in town, we assembled some experts to talk Centralia basketball, like statistician <laughs> Phil Venetia. And he did things his way and, and they worked. You know, and one of the years they had, he started a freshman some of the time in 19, 45, 46, and the downtown coaches, they didn't like, well, why are you starting this freshman? He's not seasoned enough to be a starter on your team. So one of, before one of the games, he took him out and set him in a chair on the f basketball floor, put vegetables on his head and sprinkled salt and pepper on him and said, now he's seasoned, he's going to play for me. Is that just <laughs> what he did? Then there's the nickname of the team, the Orphans. As a sports writer, when they come out on the floor, said they look like a bunch of orphans, but they sure can play basketball. This is the only town in the world that the parents want their kids to grow up to be orphans. <laughs> and make no mistake, these kids want to be orphans. Junior Chase Alcorn. Whenever you're growing up, the first thing that you ever remember about basketball is being here, watching the holiday tournament, watching all the great teams that come through here. Freshman De'Aaron Owens. Where would you rather be in the whole world than in that gym tonight? Nowhere. This could be one of the greatest weekends of your high school experience. When you guys look back, this could be one of the greatest weekends, or it could just be another weekend. Okay? Make sure you're doing everything you can to make this one of your greatest weekends right here. Play together. One, two, three. Play together. On this night, the Orphans were playing in the first round of the 70th annual Centralia Holiday Tournament against St. Lawrence in Chicago. A little different venue than the old Trout Gymnasium. It's housed in a new $35 million school. How many high school gyms have freestanding backboards and scoreboards with video screens like this? But it's Centralia basketball. When your trophy cases are packed like this and your gyms are filled like this, 
you expect the best. Welcome back to the uh, 70th Annual Centralia Holiday Tournament. Here Mike McManus does the games on radio and writes for the town's newspaper. It's been born and bred in us that uh, you're going to be here on Friday night with a home game whenever the orphans play. Uh, this town will come out and, and support this team. Normally win, lose, or draw. Because of the popularity of the program, the school must use a season ticket lottery. And the crowd is almost all Centralians. Starting with the man in the white sweatshirt, you have Centralia graduates from 1951, 83, 2002, 61, 61, and 1970. Head coach Lee Bennett has won 126 games in his five and a half years at Centralia. And on this night, he had his orphans clicking on all cylinders. And so let's say there's 2,000 there tonight. How many do you think in the stands know as much about basketball as you do? Well, that depends on who you ask, Frank. A lot of them know more. <laughs> it's 8.30 on a Thursday night. The town is quiet. The only thing you can really hear is a dog in the background. This is Main Street in Centralia. But for two hours a night, when the orphans are playing, it's a ghost town. The gymnasium, though, was a different story. The crowd was enjoying what they enjoy most, doing what they do best, cheering on another Orphans victory. This is what we're about. It's, 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 it's outstanding, and, and, and uh, everything we do here centers around the basketball, it's kept the town together, and it's, it's just uh, amazing. You know, one more note, the Centrea girls program is very good too. And uh, they have a clever nickname, not the orphans, but they are called the Orphan Annies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great story. What do they do in the off season? I mean, they, they must get be ready depressed. for basketball. They get ready they get for the next team year. Ready, yep. Thanks, Frank. All right. We'll be right back.